Ante router, no computer, pezzi di ricambio per gli scooter Fermo il tempo che scorre, buco il sole risorge Soffio sull'occhio di George It's the 2K Sports Pregame Show. Thanks for joining us. The NBA on 2K Sports rolling right along. Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. I'm Ernie Johnson. The regular season starting to wind down. Tonight, it'll be the New York Knicks going up against the Orlando Magic. Well, for Orlando... Two games into the season series against this team, they're tied at a game apiece, looking to grab the edge tonight. Really powering through this last leg of the season, Shaq, this late in the game, are there any final adjustments that the top teams can make before the playoffs start? Yeah, you gotta polish up your rotations. And if the guys absolutely need rest, give it to them, Ernie. Take a nap like this. Take a nap. He's he's really sleeping. I, I see. He's really sleeping. As long as he doesn't snore, he, he can just sleep. he just he is really legitimately sleeping. It's he mentioned it, fell asleep, just mm -hmm. like that. He's got you know everyone has a different mental state. Yeah. As Shaq just showed. In the playoffs, you have to have a really good. And there's a lot of sleeper teams in the playoffs still left. And I have a sleeping bunch here. Back to you, Kevin. Kind of tired too. <laughs> oh, say does that star spangle banner yet wave oh, the land? Stirring rendition of the Star Spangled Banner by the terrific Linda Lynn getting us ready for NBA basketball here on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Brent Berry and Greg Anthony. We've got David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. For the next, they continue their stretch of home games. And Porzingis, guys, out with the injury. He will be missed. Well, when he got hurt in that last game, the, the hope was that it wouldn't be too serious. But we now know that's not the case. You, you really just wish him all the luck in the world in terms of his rehab. Yeah, this is the hardest part of the game. Hate that it sounds like he's out for an extended period of time. Our thoughts certainly go out to the young man. And with tip-off coming up, we've got just enough time to hear from our good friend David Aldridge on the sideline. D.A., take it away. Well, guys, the NBA Players Union recently voted unanimously yeah. to fund health care insurance for retired players. Now, Chris Paul, the Players Association's president, said, we're in this position because of the hard work of the men who came before us. It's important that we take care of our extended NBA family and ensure the well-being of predecessors. Kevin? Thanks, D.A., a true sign of how caring the NBA is, always looking out for the retired players. Coming down the home stretch, Brent, some teams in clear rebuild mode at this point. What are they looking to get out of the rest of the season? Well, this is all about experience, Kevin, giving guys opportunities so that they go into the offseason with specific goals in mind as individual players to get better at their game. And when they do that, they come back collectively better for the organization. So experience only here as we close out the season for a few of these teams. And it's going to be the magic off the tip. A look at the starting group for the Magic. Peyton and Fournier are the one and the two. The big men are Gordon and Vucevic. And it's Isaac in at the three slot. Let's it go from deep. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. This game coming after a loss against the Pistons. Just didn't like the energy level in that one. And that offensive execution also was lacking. Now they made a few shots, Reg, but just wildly inconsistent. Loss in the corner. Outside Hardaway. Down to five on the shot clock. Lays it up and banks it in. 
That's a talented guy getting too easy a look. Might have been a miscommunication on that one. Well, just the first quarter, everyone's still getting adjusted. That said, on defense, you have to bring help sooner. Picked by Vucevic. Isaac off the mark there with the three-point shot. On defense, the Magic. They're coming into this game off that recent loss to Atlanta. You know, they're the visiting team. It's a loud arena, very distracting at times, but simply no excuse for missing a ton of free throws. Yeah, it just looked like, and I'm not sure if you guys saw this, but just never comfortable in this game. And, and the line certainly is one of those places where that could show up. And it's the Magic with the ball after New York gets the three. Pretty surprised he missed that shot. The defense was decent, but not really effective. And Ross with the slam. And doing their best to maximize possessions. Just staying focused with this lead. Well, it isn't much, but they've been able to capture some of the momentum of this game and increase their advantage. Here's Peyton following the score by New York. They need this. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. That has to be a relief. First bucket was a long time coming. And you could see it in the faces of some of the players just really anxious and amped up for this one. Let's see if this puts them on the right path. Now here's Berea. And looking at his production, he averages a little more than seven points a game. Oh, great ball movement there. Here's Fournier. And Tim Hardaway Jr., the son of a former all-star point guard. Junior, not maybe the same ball handler his father was, but he can sure fill it up. And I really feel like he's established his niche in the NBA. Yeah, really good defensive play to cut him off there and square up. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Berea kicks to Hardaway. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Here's Fournier. Clearly a foul. This is his first trip to the line tonight. And with his percentage at 87, he's done just about everything they could have asked when it comes to free throw shooting. And that one falls for Fournier. He hits both from the strike. And that's another area where he is just a superb player. Excellent at the free throw line. Berea kicks it to Noah. The pass to Beasley. Outside Hardaway. And the three off target. Well, after nailing the first four shots of the game, some relief for the defense. They finally miss one. Pass to Peyton. Vucevic is screen on Berea. Peyton attacking. And the shot is good. To give a ton of credit to the screener there. That was a perfect pick to give his teammate the space to knock down the shot. Berea with it. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. Outside Hardaway. New York, no good that time either. The Magic trail by four. Take a look at the Knicks over the last few seasons, Kevin, and they just haven't gotten anything going. Last year, they thought they were in a good spot with the additions of Rose and Noah, but the team just couldn't string anything together, had a myriad of problems both on and off the floor. Here is Ross following the score by Aaron Gordon. Noah, the pass to Ross. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. 
and really the defense fouling there to the prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. It's his first trip to the line. Two shots. That free throw good from Ross. Brent for the Knicks. They go after big names to try and uh, get a super team together. But unfortunately, uh, they've been getting players on the downside of their career. I think that's the head scratching part of all this, Kevin, is that this is New York City, often referred to as the mecca of basketball, yet free agents have avoided New York. They have not wanted to come and take on the pressure of helping to rebuild the franchise. And many of these issues stem from a disconnect between management and what's going on on the floor. And, and no matter who it is, that kind of D isn't going to get it done. Here's Jack. And it's Biombo with the rebound. No doubt disappointed with that one. He'd love to have that one back. Yeah, I'd put that play on repeat. The setup was perfect. Just need a better result next time. Now here's Matt. Orlando moving the ball around. Pocket six. Biombo kicks to Gordon. Over Ross. And the shot clock expires. 24 second violation. And getting a perspective on the offensive tendencies here since the All-Star break, we've got a breakdown showing the average three-point attempts versus two-point shot attempts per game since the midway point of the season for the Magic. And clearly, they're more focused on attacking inside the arc. It's an old-school style, not settling, but it can also make it tough to compete offensively with teams that can fill it up from distance. Jack dishes to Noah. Pass to Nila Kina. Gordon against Ross. And it's blocked by Gordon. Here's Nila Kina. And gets hacked by the D. He'll go to the line. And the potential that Nila Kina has is really cause to be excited. A lengthy point guard who can run the offense well. And if he bulks up, look out for this guy. Courtney Lee, he's checked in for New York. Now here's Matt looking for his first basket still in this one. On the wing, Gordon. Chance there to take the lead, missing. New York's gone two or four from beyond the arc to start the game. The Knicks have gone three of four at the free throw line tonight. And, and as a unit, they're shooting 78% from the line. That's a solid number to work with on the season. Second free throw, no good. The Magic trail by three. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks, and Mack kicks to Biombo. Gordon, the pass to Mack. Dishes it to Simmons. Nila Kina with the rebound. And the defense timed that out perfectly. Love the aggressiveness. And then they changed the shot's direction. And there it is for him. Lee's got his first points in this one. Love how Lee is rising up quickly in the paint using his speed to get the shot off before the D has a chance to react. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. the second quarter beginning in just a moment and guys what's your take on the Knicks so far yeah it didn't take them long to get that transition game going well, that's a quick way to build the lead but Greg can they sustain this kind of effort all night long we'll see so Brent certain players are known for getting into people's heads who is a guy you played against that really challenged your mental toughness I'll give you two examples Kevin as an opponent I would tell you that Vernon Maxwell was uh, one of the more less cerebral mm. and more in your face aggressive players that I ever faced as, a, as an opponent. But on the flip side of that, Kevin, there were guys I played with that sometimes 
would challenge you mentally. In particular, one Gary Payton in Seattle. Always interesting to see how he approached the game and sometimes even his own teammates. But you always welcome the challenge, I'm sure. Well, I take it head on. I mean, that's what guys do. They're paid to compete. On the court for Orlando, we've got Shelvin Mack. Bismack Biambo is out there with Maurice Spates. And there's Gordon. And it's Simmons in at the two guard spot. Solid rebound there. And with the score like it is, that's an area where they can't afford to get lazy. Gordon dishes to Spates. Fouled in the act of shooting. A three point play chance coming up. That's a good job by Spates. Always hungry to score. He takes the hit, never loses the focus. And now the potential and one. And Maurice Spates, the stretch big man, has always had a good mid-range shot, Brent, but when he was with the Warriors, you may recall, he was able to expand his range out to three. Well, there's something that goes along with winning, and I think that's a tremendous amount of confidence. So after Maurice Spates got the championship ring, I think he brings some of that leadership and locker room mentality that you need on a winning team. Gordon, a screen. And he makes the bucket, drew contact, and gets the whistle, too. Absolutely fearless. I mean, a, a nice, subtle adjustment there going up against Wynn. Yeah, this is the feel of a player to use his body to keep the shot from being blocked. Excellent work there. Michael Beasley, he's checked in for Noah. The Magic also changing it up. Vucevic, he's checked in for Bismack Biondo. And Evan Fournier subbed in for Aaron Gordon. Lee kicks to Sessions. Back to Lee. Beasley sets a screen for Lee. Pocket four. And it's Beasley that time in the assist by Lee. And the Knicks lead by three. The defender must have felt like he ran into a brick wall right there. Really great screen set to give his teammate the wide open shot. Now here's Matt. He's tightly guarded. Here's Simmons. Back to Mack. And Simmons kicks to Vucevic. The shot goes down and it gets this game back to even. Vucevic has got his first three points of the game. You know, at least get a hand up. It's not too much to ask from a coaching staff. Just not intimidating defense at all on that possession. Beasley with a screen on Fournier. Here's Lee. Terrific design on the big play. And he lays it in. Lee's got his second basket of the game. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. Coaching staff high-fiving themselves there, watching that team move the ball around, doing whatever is best for the team. Beasley the screen. Here's McDermott. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. It's going to be on Maurice Spates. Well, he knew that Doug McDermott was going to be a classic shooter when he came into the league with all those points he racked up at Creighton University. A great shooting motion, a high, quick release. And I'm just impressed with the range that he's able to fire from. Sometimes four or five feet from behind the line. No problem from Dougie McBuckets. Tim Hardaway Jr. checked in for New York. Berea comes in for Neil Aquino. Sessions passes to Beast. The feed to Berea. He dishes it to Sessions. Back to Berea from outside the arc. Rebounded by Isaac. And Brent with McDermott. He does have great range. It's something that defenders have to respect and is opening up more for him. And the idea for McDermott is you cannot be a one-trick pony in this league, Kevin. So getting more comfortable at times, maybe playing with the back to the basket, moving off of screens, maybe cutting around defenders. He's going to have to show some more versatility in his offensive game to stick around. Berea kicks to Sessions. To the middle. Vucevic with the block. And it's out of bounds. The Knicks able to retain possession here. Jared Jack has checked in for Sessions. And uh, almost four minutes gone here in the second quarter of play. Beasley sets a screen for Jack. Five to shoot. Shoots a three. That shot no good. The Magic go the other way with it. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. 
That's going to be on Jarrett Jack. The Magic shooting their fifth and six free throws of the game. Greenwich coach has his strengths, and they've got weaknesses. But if you needed someone to draw up a play to get you one bucket out of a timeout, who are some of the names you turn to? I think I'm going to turn to Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, possibly James Harden, because two points can happen after a free throw, right, Kev? So yes. I could get James Harden to the line. And then one LeBron James. That's not a bad list of guys to turn to if I need two points. Absolutely. And then what coach would you have draw up that play? If I don't say pop, my life will cease to exist. <laughs> I will say Greg Popovich in late game situations does a marvelous job. Not only, Kevin, of getting the ball to the guy that he wants potentially to get the game winner, but to have options and to make sure that that player sees those options in case something breaks down. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Berea. Let's give some credit now to a group of terrific young defenders. The rookie leaders in blocks since the All-Star break. You look at Isaac, fierce inside defender. Tops in the NBA in blocks. I tell you, he's picked a lot of opponents' tendencies as the year has gone on and has put that knowledge to work defensively. For three, Fournier connects from three-point range. Fournier's got five points so far. A much better quarter for them shooting the ball. Outside Jack. And Alfred Payton with the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. Well, there are good fouls, and then there's those fouls. That's not, not a good one. Limits himself on defense, and he can't nearly be as physical for the rest of the period. And New York making a change here. Noah's checked in. Gordon's checked in for Orlando. Shot to end this cold run. No good from Ross. Well, the D did their job there. Excellent contest to alter the close. Oh. Yes, sir. Yeah, love watching Isaac find the open teammate. Has great floor awareness out there and just knows when one of his guys has a clean look. And Jack kicks it to Noah. He feeds it to Beasley. Here's the screen. Beasley the screen. Here's Hardaway. It's Biombo with the rebound. Biombo's got his third rebound tonight. Here's Peyton. He's averaging around five and a half points a game. Now here's Fournier. He got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. And so it's Orlando in control with a nine-point lead to end the quarter. Well, they trailed by a bunch, but once they got going, the comeback was on. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thanks. Here with Elford Payton. Elford, great passing in the first half. How does that impact the offense when the ball is moving like we saw it? Everybody's getting easy shots. You know, it's much easier than contesting shots, and uh, guys are knocking it down. Well, a really good first half, Alfred. Thank you for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. This big mountain of a man is Shaquille O'Neal, and this hill of a man is Kenny the Jet Smith. It was a closely contested first quarter for Orlando. They did give up a couple baskets more than they wanted to, and at the end of the period, were trailing by five points. In the second quarter, they turned on the afterburners, making a big charge to jump ahead and build a nine-point lead for themselves at halftime. Shaq, what would you think about the Magic? Well, I like it, Ernie, because they're just not settling for outside shots. You know, that part of the game is pretty when it's going in. We've seen plenty of teams try that and fail. Got to have a balanced approach. And tonight, they found a ton of success inside. Basketball and championships are won inside out. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. And over to Kenny, what'd you think about New York? Well, they're giving up too many high percentage looks, Ernie. They're not closing down the lane, and they're not going hard on the perimeter. That will get an L in any ball. And it's just about time now for the third quarter to get underway.
The incredible view of one World Trade Center rising high above New York City. Welcome back, everyone. The second half just about to get going here. Nice game. Great performance by Tim Hardaway Jr. Yeah, and through two quarters, he's been lights out. And you know he's going to look to add to those totals. And defensively, hard to force him out of the rhythm at this point because he has a number of ways with which he can beat you. Knicks trail by nine. Third quarter action getting rolling right now. Brought to you by Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Here's who's on the floor. And New York looking at who they've got. Terrence Ross is out there with Beasley. Then there's Hardaway. Then there's J.J. Barea. And it's Noah in its center. Pass to Isaac. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That's on Joaquin Noah. And the overall skill set that Isaac possesses really off the charts. A, a big man who can run the floor, but also with that wingspan can defend the rim. And he makes both free throws. Here is Berea. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. Inside, beats it, and it's blocked by Gordon. Here's Isaac. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. You gotta make that. The defense was far from terrible, but man, that's an easy shot. And Hardaway gets it to go. I tell you what, what a good thing that he showed up today because without him, this thing would already be over. Peyton dishes to Vucevic. And here in the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. Sinks that one from the post. Vucevic has got the lead up to nine now for the Magic. You love it when a big man has those soft hands. Rarely any problem converting that close to the rim. And Alfred Payton with the foul. That's his third foul of the game. And New York making a change here. Neil Aquinas checked in. And a change for the Magic. Jonathan Simmons is checked in for Fournier. Maria the pass to Noah. Ross on the wing over Gordon. And that one comes up a bit short. Orlando leading by nine. Kicks to Vucevic. Pass to Isaac. Outside, Simmons. Here's Isaac. Kicked by Vucevic. Shoots off the screen. Isaac misses. And when he, he's this close, he's got to make it. The defense was pretty good, but just shouldn't miss that. Great D that time from Vucevic. You know what? He's just stone cold right now. Really not sure if he's their best option offensively as they try to get back in this game. And Simmons kicks to Payton. Pass to Isaac. Down to five on the shot clock. It's tipped. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. New York, no good that time either. Orlando, they've gotten just one of their first four shots to fall since coming out of the locker room with the break. Peyton dishes to Vucevic, stolen by Noah. Berea against Peyton. And Jonathan Simmons gets the whistle that time. That'll be his second foul of the game. Very interesting hire for the New York Knicks as they went outside the triangle to find Jeff Hornacek, who had coached in Phoenix for a couple of years. He's the kind of coach trying to feel it out as the roster has changed over. They've dealt with some injuries. And we'll see if he finally finds some footing here in the Big Apple. McDermott's checked in for the Knicks. Biombo is checked in for Orlando. Spates comes in for Isaac. Feeds it to Spates. McDermott with a steal. Here's Neil Aquino, guarded by Simmons. Pass to Sessions. Noah the screen. Six to shoot. 
Baseline J on the way. Wow, huge sigh of relief for the defense on that possession. You cannot give mid-range shooters any space like that to operate. And the call will be against Joe Kim Noah. And that'll be his third foul so far. Jared Jack is checked in for Neil Aquino. And here is Mac. There's the dish to space. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. That's on Joaquin Noah. You combine the size and skill of Spates, it's a, it's a load for a defender, especially at that position. Let's see what he can do from the free throw line. And some players thrive on that style Hornacek has. Others get bothered by it because it causes problems. Well, he'll discuss things with you and try to smooth things over, and, and maybe players just aren't used to a coach being that open and honest. I mean, he to battle sometimes egos can be very fragile you're also in a very big city where the attention can grow stronger and stronger so a lot to deal with behind the coaching of Jeff Hornacek. Gordon inside covered by Lee and the basket by Gordon. Time out, time out. I mean even he was surprised to be that open. Gordon. And the Knicks decide to take their first time out here. Brent, when you played, you were able to score in a variety of ways. Which do you think you were better at, shooting off the catch or off the dribble? There's no doubt that shooting off the catch, Kevin, was much easier for me. I love the fact that I could get my feet set, start to anticipate when the ball was coming, who the ball was coming from, and then establish my own rhythm for each of those opportunities to cast away at the rim. I would think, though, you'd get rhythm by working off the dribble, too. Yeah, sometimes you have to be able to do that, but I oftentimes use that dribble to maybe create another opportunity for a teammate. And then the other idea, Kevin, is if you're a great catch-and-shoot player, the pump fake and one dribble in, that's something you have to perfect to keep the defense honest in terms of their closeouts. Evan Fournier has checked in for Aaron Gordon. Five on the clock. Here's Simmons. Good work there as it goes. Simmons got the lead up to 11 now for the Magic. Now Jack. He averages about uh, five points a game. Lee passes to Sessions. Noah with it. Screen by Lee. McDermott for three. That shot, no good. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Mack. Banked in off the glass. Mack's got five points so far. Phenomenal use of the body there to free himself up from the defender and get a clean look at the basket. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. There's the pick. Noah kicks to McDermott. Good and a nice assist from Noah. That's still something that Noah does very well. Seeing the floor, keeping his head up. Got to play with your head on a swivel. Noah does that. Here's Mack. He's got five. Out to the right wing. Spates kicks to Simmons. Good on the three-point shot. Simmons got five points now in the quarter. And so it's Orlando sitting with a comfortable lead up by 14. And we'll see if they can keep up their tremendous shooting. They've been dialed in so far from the field. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And thanks again for joining us. Let's see what happens here in the fourth. Orlando leading by 14. Fourth quarter on the floor for the Magic. Peyton and Fournier are the one and the two. Simmons is out there with Bismack Biombo. And it's Vucevic in at the five down low. And this is where you have to sharpen up your passing. That's a careless turnover. Jack against Peyton. Passes it to Ross. Trains the 19-footer. Ross has got the first basket as we get going in the fourth for the Knicks. Well, Orlando shooting about 59% from the floor offensively. They've been running without a hitch. Pass to Isaac from past the arc. They get it back. Rambo dishes to Peyton. Buries it from three-point range. 
they have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Beasley the screen. Hardaway kicks to Jack. Orlando grabs the miss. Isaac's got his third rebound tonight. It's stolen by Jack. And he uses the glass on the layup. And that solid play in the paint continues here, guys. Peyton outside. There's a screen. He kicks to Vucevic. Pass to Isaac. Shot clock at five. The Magic need to get a shot off here. Peyton's shot is off. Well, even though he missed, he likes seeing him taking that kind of shot. The defense must be better. Count it, and the Orlando lead has been cut down now to just 11 on the bucket from Jack. Peyton outside. The pass to Vucevic. A strong finish under heavy pressure all over. And the Magic lead by 13. Well, you got to like his choice right there to go hard to the rack. Took it right at the teeth of the defense. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. The Knicks making a switch here. Neil Aquinas checked in. Aaron Gordon is checking in for the Magic. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, guys, I had a chance to listen in on Jeff Hornacek's huddle with his players. And he was emphatic. He said, we are not going to win this game playing this way, fellas. You've got to step it up. You've got to get aggressive. And you've got to battle to get back in this thing. See if that pep talk got him going, guys. Back to Peyton. Picked by Vucevic. Peyton drives in. There's the feed to Gordon. And out of bounds as the Knicks gain possession. Yeah, that's just not a good pass. I don't know what he's thinking there. A poor decision. Joakim Noah, he's checked in for New York. Knicks trail by 10. No good from Ross. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be. Firmly in the driver's seat. Impeccable from the line since halftime. Over the decades, the way the league has grown, phenomenal. Doing no small part to the leadership. Brent, what are some of the key traits that you've seen of these two great NBA commissions? I think the one thing about both David Stern and Adam Silver that they have done a great job with is that they're approachable. There, there doesn't seem to be a time, at least in an NBA player's career, where they don't feel like they could either call the office and within maybe a day or two hear from somebody from the league office. But the fact that both David Stern and Adam Silver find their way out to arenas throughout the regular season, come to see every team, that approachability, I think, far and away sets those two gentlemen aside. Magic leading by 10. Pass to Isaac. That's good. And it's Peyton with the assist. Peyton's got three assists tonight. And always seemingly under control is Isaac. He, even when he gets roughed up, he just manages to knock down difficult shots. Right side Hardaway. And the call will be against Fournier. That'll be his second foul of the game. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. Noah the screen. Six on the shot clock. They set the pick. New York needs to get off a shot. Off the mark had a chance to trim it to single digits. Peyton attacking. Neil Aquino with the rebound. Knicks trail by 12. Shoots it up. And the shot is long. Peyton, right side, dishes it to Vucevic. Peyton outside. Now the feed to Vucevic. Kicks it out to Gordon. Off target from outside. For New York, they've gone 5 of 10, 50% from the field. And the call will be against Fournier. That's his third foul of the game.
On defense, the Magic. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Beasley the screen, back to Ross. Beasley sets a screen for Ross, just five on the clock. New York, no good that time either. Orlando leading by 12. Ross with the steal. Here's Nilakina, covered by Peyton. And they pick up two. And you can see he's been working on that post game. Nilakina showing some skill set down on that low block, using that length to his advantage. Now a timeout called by Orlando. They're up by 10. 107 left to play in the final quarter. A chance now to recognize our Jordan player of the game, Nikola Vucevic. And he's provided them with a major mismatch on that low block tonight that they've been able to lean on his scoring in the paint. And if nothing else has worked, he, he's given them a reliable option on every possession. He's been their pulse tonight, the player who's guided them to the win, and it's a win they needed coming off a loss in their last one. It's stolen by Bucevic. And, and we'll just watch the clock wind down, guys, in what will turn out to be a win here for the Magic. In the end, they had a better shooting percentage, and that's what made the difference. Sometimes, you know, things go your way. The other team wasn't catching many lucky breaks themselves. Yeah, and, and Kevin, not all about luck. I thought their overall shot selection was better. And when it's all said and done here, this will mark their 38th W on the year. And on the season, this is going to be their third win in four games against this team. And a great team effort tonight, helped in large part with contributions, and the nice night it ended up being for Vucevic. Yeah, it felt like there was more than one of him out there tonight. He was involved on every possession, and he made his presence felt in so many ways. So a new group on the floor for Orlando. Running up the score showing no mercy. Well, you want to close the door on any type of comeback effort. This has been a vault. ka -ching. You're right. Now here's Matt. So it's Orlando taking this one by a big margin. And in the win, a comfortable win in what was, I think, gee, a pretty hostile environment. It, it really was. You, you know, it's never going to be easy on the road, but they didn't have too many problems with that tonight. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thank you, Kevin, with Alfred Payton. And the jumper was falling tonight. I know that's something you've worked on a lot over the last couple of years. So when it finally starts to flow and fall, how does that feel? Uh, it feels good. The hard work paying off, but you know I still got a lot of work to do. Just got to keep working at it. Well, it looks like things are finally starting to slow down for you, Alfred. Thanks, Kevin. Back to you. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. And we'll see you next time.